Hey guys, it's Mitch here. Lookup tables, or LUTs for short, have become really, really popular with filmmakers uh, in the last couple of years as a really quick and easy way of applying a look to your footage so that you can get to the render stage and put your video out into the world as quickly as possible. I know that not everybody knows how to actually create these lookup tables themselves and a lot of people are kind of like scouring the internet looking all around for like the perfect lot for their footage um, but the problem is is that we all use different cameras we all have different picture profile settings and most importantly when we finish our videos we all have a different look that we are trying to create this is more for the people who want to take control and have a really good idea of um, you know, what kind of final look they, they want to have on their video. It's, it's also for people who want to maybe copy um, another look that they've seen. It might not even be from a film, it, it could be from a photograph or something like that. So this really opens that up. So I hope this is helpful for you, for you guys today. Now I'm going to actually show you two different ways to do it. The first way is actually free and we're going to be using DaVinci Resolve 12.5. So this is actually the free version. Um, you don't need to buy the upgrade version to create these lookup tables. Although when you're using Resolve, you do have to know how to use the tools um, inside the program. I guess that's the only downside. Now the second way is using Photoshop. So if you come from a stills background, uh, Photoshop is very familiar, should be very familiar to you. And this way is not free, obviously, because Photoshop is a paid program. All right, so let's get into this. This is some footage that I shot on the Fuji X-T2. Um, if you've seen my review of the X-T2, you probably uh, will recognize these clips. So I've just picked three different clips from the camera and they're all shot in the same picture style. Now the reason I've actually done this is so that I can create a more accurate look um, when I export the final lookup table. So I can actually apply the lookup table to all three clips and then that way I know I'll get a uniform, um, consistent kind of lookup table. Because if, if you were to go and let's say create the LUT based on this image, it, has, um, it doesn't have any skin tones in it, um, it's only got a limited color range. Uh, maybe the exposure is a little bit different to uh, a different shot. So here I've kind of selected a range of different exposure levels um, and also obviously one with some skin tone in it. So the first step is to basically drag these clips into this um, area here. Um, and I've already done that as you can see. So we're going to come over to the edit tab here. <coughs> Just going to pull all three clips down onto the timeline here and where at this stage we need to change one thing uh, so that we can start moving on and that is going to the project settings and then you want to go to the color management tab there's this little checkbox here that says use mac display color profile for viewers i'm not sure what this option is for um, basically it makes the um, the viewer window here look a little bit more saturated and a little bit more contrasted than the original footage. So I was always really confused. I would output my footage, I would render it, and it would look different than, you know, if I opened a window, let's say over here side by side, it would look different to what it did in Resolve. And I found out that this option here, if you just untick that, um, then it makes it look like what it should look like. And then when you render the video out, it actually looks exactly the same as um, inside the viewer. Um, if anyone knows what that setting is for, or they can enlighten me as to why it's there, or maybe even let me know why I maybe shouldn't untick it, um, leave a comment below, because I'd love to hear um, from anyone who has any insight. Okay, cool, so now that we've done that, I'm gonna go over to the color tab, and then here is where we create our look. Really, we're gonna be going for the final look um, that we can just, I guess, like slap over our entire timeline in the end product and just get like a uniform consistent, you know, um, look. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead now and create a look for this image that I'm going to be pasting over the rest of the footage. So I'm just gonna go ahead now and create a look for this image. All right guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead now and use the controls in DaVinci Resolve to create a look for this particular picture style.
All right, so now that I'm happy with this image, um, I can go ahead and just check to see what kind of progress we made uh, from the original image by highlighting the node and then just hitting Command D. So you can see the original image much flatter. Uh, then this obviously has a little bit more of a pop of color, uh, a little bit warmer. So if I wanted this to be my overall look for the footage, what I would do now, uh, just before I actually create the lookup table, is right click on this and hit grab still. Now that's going to add a still image over to this left pane here. And what I can do is go to the next clip, right click this um, still and then hit apply grade. So I can preview that on the next clip. Moving along again, we'll do the same. So we'll apply the grade and that's looking pretty good. Um, I, I may make some tweaks to the look um, but for the purpose of this video, we'll just keep it simple and keep it like that. So the next step is you want to click on either of these because they're all got the same look applied to them. Uh, right click and hit generate 3D LUT. So you want to hit this one with cube in brackets because cube is the, uh, is the file format that we're going to use in Premiere. Um, so you'll just rename this to, um, let's say, uh, let's, let's rename it something meaningful. Um, so the picture style that I'm using here is pro negative standard. So let's call this pro neg standard. Um, I think that that'll be good. Uh, let's, let's call it warm look just for a little bit more descriptiveness. So, um, saving in the folder that I want to save it in, I've already pre-selected this one here. Hit save. Okay, so now we can actually go and check that we've saved the lookup table. And open a new find a window. All right, so you'll see here that it's actually put the clip name after um, the, the name that we use. So um, this is default in DaVinci. I'm not sure how to change that. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. All we need to do is open up Premiere and then import all of our footage, which I've already done. And let's just pretend that this is our uh, final render, final edit here. There are two ways of applying the lookup table. So let me just demonstrate that. Um, you can do it through the Lumetri panel, but I would probably not recommend using the input LUT um, selection box here. The reason for that is that it will actually take the um, the overall look, so the, the original footage with the lookup table applied and then everything underneath, so all of these options here, will tweak the overall image. So what I prefer to do is actually use the creative tab. Now this will put the lookup table kind of like on a layer above the actual footage and that way we can change the exposure, the contrast and all of this kind of stuff on the actual footage and um, it won't affect the lookup table. So now this is actually affecting the footage and not the footage plus the lookup table. So as you can see that has a much different effect over what the footage actually looks like. So what you can do is just go into your effect controls copy this Lumetri effect over onto each individual clip like that, but then still also have your control over, you know, your exposure, highlights and shadows and saturation and everything like that underneath the lot. So that's the first way. Now I'm just going to go ahead and delete all of these Lumetri layers that I created on each clip. Now the much simpler way, well the quicker way to do this um, is once you've edited together all your footage, you simply go down to this option, create a new item, create a new adjustment layer, make sure it's the same size as your clip, which this is 4K. Grab the adjustment layer and bring it onto the layer above. Drag it out till the end of your clip. So we've got our adjustment layer selected here and you'll see when we do an adjustment, we get a Lumetri effect here. So I've just reset that. Now I'm going to use the input LUT because again, we're on a layer above the footage. So it doesn't really matter um, what we do with this original layer. We can still edit these clips individually in the same way we would if, it, if we used the LUT in the creative tab. Hope that makes sense. So now you can see that it is on the adjustment layer and we have essentially just overlaid 
our look onto all our footage in one really quick action. So that's it. That's how we create a lookup table in DaVinci Resolve. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do exactly the same thing in Photoshop. Okay, so in this method, we're actually going to start in Premiere. So you're going to want to select your clip again, the one that you will uh, be creating the lookup table for. And you want to export a frame using this button here. Now, if you can't see this export frame option, it'll be in this drop down menu. Um, so these are all the buttons that you can actually add to the Premiere um, transport controls here. And if you don't have the option to export a frame, it should be in here and you just drag it in. So we're going to export this frame and you want to save it as a PNG. So we'll hit OK. And now we're going to open up Photoshop. We'll open a new finder window and find our still. So this is our still. Let's drag that in. All right, so now we can begin working on our look. Now, Photoshop only allows you to create looks through adjustment layers. So what we'll do is um, the first step is actually make this layer the background layer. So you just want to um, right click on this layer and hit flatten image. Um, and then the next step is to open your adjustment layer um, selector here. So there's plenty of adjustments you can make. I'm just going to go ahead and make a really similar look um, than I did before. So I'm going to increase the saturation a little bit. New adjustment and add a photo filter to warm this up a little. There we go. Now I'm going to change the levels here. I'm just going to brighten it up a little bit in the mid tone. Okay, so let's say that is the look that I'm going for. So you can add any number of these um, if you want to play with the um, channel mixer, the color balance, um, all that kind of stuff, you can do that. Um, the next step we're going to do is we're actually just going to group all these layers together. So we're going to hit, we're going to select them all, right click group from layers. Okay. So now we can actually just turn the whole uh, group of adjustment layers on and off. That way we can preview our look. So if you wanted to do the same as we did in um, Resolve, um, you can bring in other screenshots, um, other exported frames into Photoshop, and you can actually add this group um, of adjustment layers over each one just to preview it, see how it looks, make your tweaks, make your adjustments. Um, it is a little bit more involved than the DaVinci Resolve way. Um, but I think if you're more familiar with the photo options like within Photoshop to create, you know, different looks with the images through the adjustment layers, then this might be a quicker, I guess, um, quicker for you to get into it and, and start making lookup tables. Okay, so now that we've done that, um, we just want to select our background again and then we're going to go and hit File, Export, Color Lookup Tables. So this is the description. It doesn't really matter. This isn't the file name. Um, the only thing that's important in this menu is that we click cube because remember that was the file format that we're using and um, 32. So I think this is just the um, the depth of, of the color information that we're going to be editing and 32 is considered medium, um, but it's all that you will need for 8 bit or 10 bit footage. So we'll hit OK on that one. So we're just going to save it. Um, so this is actually where we'll save our file name. So we'll just call that um, the same as we did before. Pro negative standard. Uh, we'll call that uh, warm look. Okay. So we saved that lookup table to our desktop. So now we're going to come back into Premiere. And this is where we'll do exactly what we did before. Um, we'll create a new adjustment layer. There we go. So now we'll bring this adjustment layer down, expand it out so that it covers our whole clip, and then we'll navigate to the desktop and choose the lookup table that we created. So there you go. So now this look has been applied to our whole video, and we can just toggle that to see what it looks like before and after. So yeah, that looks great. Pretty happy with that. So there you go. So that is two different ways that you can create lookup tables in DaVinci Resolve and Photoshop, depending on what you prefer. 
And I hope this helped you guys out. If you like this video, hit like. Um, if you like the content that I create on this channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next video.